Ottawa is increasingly something like a Disneyland thing. It's a democracy theme park. To take power back into the hands of the voters, we have to get involved ourselves. Democracy is not a spectator sport. My name is Elizabeth May, and I'm the leader of the Green Party of Canada. A democracy without adequate reflection and representation of all of its citizens is a sham democracy. The mandate of equal voice and more women elected in the House of Commons is critical because with only 21, 22 percent of the parliament being women, we rank well below the number of women found in the parliament of Afghanistan, for instance. I mean, we think of that as a country that's hostile to women and a lot of the culture is. But we rank lower than Afghanistan in the number of women in parliament. That's the sort of thing Canadians don't think about. A lot of people hear the word politics and they think that doesn't have to do with me. That's that scummy activity that other people do. But it's really democracy. And for democracy to work, everybody has to be engaged. So politics is not a spectator sport. You don't turn on the TV and think, well, I'll watch something else now. This is the decisions that are made about our future. And to have it work, we all need to be engaged. Women doubt themselves far too much. Uh, when I'm talking to a woman who's already accomplished a lot in her own field, maybe she's a successful lawyer, maybe she's a successful academic or community organizer, and I say, you know, you'd be a great candidate for the Green Party. What I hear over and over again in response is, oh, you know, thanks, but I'm sure you could find somebody better. Now, I never hear that from men. Go figure. <coughs> I was raised in a family where my mom was very active. Um, when I was a small baby, uh, back in the mid-50s, she read in the newspapers that the testing of nuclear weapons in the atmosphere was creating a health risk for children, that the nuclear fallout uh, was going to cause an increase in childhood leukemia. Now she was a uh, you know, typical 1950s young suburban housewife, no background in organizing, but she had a gift for it. And she organized in our neighborhood and beyond our neighborhood, and, to, and I grew up in the States, so throughout the state, and then nationally, to ban nuclear weapons testing in the atmosphere. So my first experience of how a citizen relates to their government, as far as I was concerned, my mommy made President Kennedy sign a test ban treaty and stop testing bombs in the atmosphere. When Nixon won, my parents said, okay, let's move to Cape Breton Island. So my family moved as a family when I was a teenager. And I hadn't been involved in what you could call partisan politics in all of my adult years until uh, 2006 when I decided to leave my activism life, really, of running an a environmental group called the Sierra Club of Canada. And then I decided to get involved in partisan politics. I'm convinced we'll fix the toxic partisanship of politics when we have more women involved. Women are half of the population. Women should be half of parliaments. As a young person, if you don't think the Greens are where you want to go, fine, good, go out and join the Liberal Party, go out and join the NDP, join the Conservative Campus Clubs. Get involved with a political party as a young person, because your ability to influence that party exceeds any other way to impact public policy on a fast track, because there is an access and an avenue for involvement, and you will find you have a voice there very fast. What's the reward of politics? It isn't in, you know, the glory. 
it's you live an interesting life every single day cool stuff happens interesting things happen can't even begin to imagine how much fun it is to have an interesting life we need to of course have a strategy for sustainable agriculture which itself is integrated into some other larger global realities around energy costs the life that has meaning has its own reward i would hate to be doing a job that paid well and had no sense that you were accomplishing anything that mattered so for me a life that has meaning has incalculable value. Women in politics are uh, an essential ingredient to community health, to public well-being, and until women feel welcome in the political world, politics has failed women. Until women take on the mantle to ensure that we charge forward and take power, because as Bella Abzug, my favorite woman mentor in politics, Bella always used to say, you know, no one's going to give us power. You got to take it. So. When women take their own power, which we have, it's sitting there for us, we just have to take it, society will work better, democracy will be healthier, our kids will be better looked after, and it'll be a better world. So what are we waiting for?